Celebrating their newfound freedom, thousands converge on Martyr's Square. It was here that Gaddafi repeatedly vowed to crush the revolution. But Gaddafi is gone and Libya has a new leader. Mustafa Abdel Jalil, chairman of the National Transitional Council. Addressing the crowd, he took a swipe at the Islamists, accusing them of creating tension. But he reassured Libyans that Sharia would be the main principle of legislation. We are seeking to establish a state governed by law and welfare, and Sharia, Islamic law, should be the main source of law. To do this, we must be united and not divided. We must condemn hatred and envy. A statement clearly meant to brush aside growing concerns that the NTC leadership is mostly liberal and secular. But it was his criticism of revolutionary forces that surprised many. Abdel Jalil rebuked them for seeking vengeance. All revolutionaries avoid violating the sanctity of homes. All revolutionaries avoid harming the women and children of the officials of the former regime. If anyone is responsible for something, they alone are responsible. Their children and wives have nothing to do with it. The chairman enjoys widespread popularity in the country, but his opponents say he's not tough enough. And this is exactly why he made it clear that he won't tolerate extremism. But it remains to be seen whether Abdel Jalil will be able to steer the nation through this very difficult time. Hours earlier, a message said to be from Gaddafi urged Libyans not to give up Libya to what were described as colonizers, a reference to NATO. Hashim al-Barra, Al-Jazeera, Tripoli.